everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tanya, and today I'm gonna to be working on Dollar Tree Christmas through winter DIYs. In this design, I'm gonna be making this little winter village from mostly Dollar Tree items and a few items that I had around the house. Now I'm gonna be cutting out some of these cardboard pieces to go with those little houses that I had picked up back in the spring from Dollar Tree. And I had already taken those apart, you'll see here in a moment, and took that back off. So I'm just drawing in a few little windows and a door, and I'm gonna glue the cardboard to the front and back of each one of these little wood house frames. And this made the cutest design. Now I like to take toothpicks and just poke right in that corrugated part of the cardboard and it makes the perfect little window and just hot glue those on there and then I'm going to take and paint mine with some white paint and then I'm just going to brush a little bit of my smoked um, glazed chalk paint on there just to kind of give them a little bit of an age look. Now I decided to cut those little pockets out to put my fairy lights in and light these up. Now, I did just use acrylic paint on these and it covered just fine. And then I think I actually just used the age glaze on this. It was the lighter color, not the smoke. But everyone, look how cute this is after I got all these uh, put together with the cardboard. I thought it really made a, a really neat little farmhouse kind of looking um, decor piece. And I think it's perfect for neutral decor. And I'm actually going to add it into some of that little woodlands theme decor that I'm going to be doing in my home. So I guess I'm really doing some of the woodlands theme mixed with just a, some of my neutral uh, kind of Christmas decor. That's what I like to display in my home. But you could really paint these any color. And you can see there, I'm just uh, cut out just a few little pieces and made some doors for my little house. Houses. Now I did print out um, the warm winter wishes. Well, actually I cut that out with my Cricut and I used a really small font. It was a little difficult to deal with, but it turned out so pretty. I, I love the writing on this one. And of course I added little sprigs of greenery down there at the bottom. And then I'm just going to pop those little lights in, you can see, and it just turned out so cute. You'll have to let me know what you think of that one. Now here is my little tissue tree. I took one of the wire tree frames from Dollar Tree that I picked up back in the spring. I don't know why they never have these out at Christmas. And I'm gonna cover it really well with a thick coating of that tissue paper. And this one I decided just to crinkle these all up in little balls and just glue those all over. And I thought this was just a really really fun and inexpensive way to make a really large tree. But don't fret, if you don't have one of the wire uh, tree frames, you could always just roll up a piece of cardboard and I may do that uh, for the next ones I make because I'm gonna make a few more of these out of some different types of um, supplies that I have around the house. But everyone, look at this. You could just spray paint that white, but I decided since I wanted this to kind of blend in with my neutral and my little bit of my woodland theme that I'm using this year, I wanted to use some of that uh, chalked brown on there. And I'm just gonna dab it on and then I'm gonna take Mod Podge and just kind of brush it and dab it. Be kind of gentle when you're doing that because of the tissue paper. And then I used just a really extra fine glitter and just sprinkled a little bit on there just for a little tiny bit of sparkle. I'm not usually a glitter fan, but this was so fine, it turned out pretty. Now here's our next one. I'm gonna be doing the tissue paper. And I decided just to roll this one up and apply this one just by doing different rolls all the way around my tree all the way up to the top and it just give it a little bit of a different look and i've got the video here at the end of this where you can see where i displayed all of these items but everyone this was just a really quick and simple one for you today and i just wanted to make a little a winter kind of themed and Christmas vignette that I could set on a shelf in my dining room. And I really love how it looks and I will probably leave that up now through the winter season. 
But I hope that this one give you a little bit of inspiration to create something like this. And you can do this in any color. You don't have to do the neutrals like I do. It'd be very pretty in the dark greens and uh, even the whites. And you could add some different designs to it. And it would even blend in with a little shabby chic kind of look. But I just thought the idea of using the tissue paper was just a really quick and inexpensive budget friendly way to make some uh, Christmas trees and little winter trees for your home decor. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this one, add a little sprinkle of that fine glitter on there. And now I do have a fun little tip. When you're using that tissue paper, this was kinda of neat. I wrapped my fairy lights around there and then I took just some bobby pins and I would just kinda of pin the bobby pins right in and loop it around one of my little lights and that kind of held everything in place and because it was tissue paper it just popped right down in there really well so that was a kind of a neat little tip but everyone here is the little vignette displayed on my shelf and i added my wreath with my little owl and i think this one just turned out so charming and pretty well everyone i hope you enjoyed this one today if so don't forget to leave it in the comments below and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel i hope you consider doing so i would love to have you as part of my youtube family and i hope you have a wonderful week and i will see you on the next one